Hey guys, on today's video, we're gonna be updating your iPad to the latest iPad OS. So let's get started. Go right into your settings. Under your settings, you're gonna see the first option where it's gonna say your name or maybe your device's name. Just go right into there, go into iCloud and make a backup. Got no more space on iCloud? Don't worry about it. Just use your computer, iTunes, in order to make that backup. Or on Mac, you guys can use Finder. Also, if you're having any problems with this update or any update for that matter, you can always do it from your computer as well using the set programs. Anyways, once we do that, we can scroll down. We can go into general. Under general, you're gonna see software update. It's your second option. And from here, we're gonna see download and install. So let's just tap on download and install. It's gonna ask you for a passcode if you have one. After you put in your passcode, it's gonna start downloading. How long will this download process take? Well, it depends on your download speed. However, the entire process downloading plus installation should not take more than 15 minutes. That's if you have really slow internet. Other than that, this update isn't huge. It's pretty small update. If you would like to know exactly what this update's all about, you can click on learn more. And from here, we're gonna see all the fixes and everything that it does. The fixes are usually all the way down here. So let me just go all the way down and here we go. So we have some stuff down here. Plus you will notice that everything that you would read around here would be a little bit more than what you would see with the iPhone update if you guys have an iPhone. Anyways, at this point in time, it doesn't really matter if your iPad turns off for any reason because we can always download it again. However, if it does that when we're installing the actual update, that can become a problem. And that's why I always suggest making that backup. And that's why it's so important because if it becomes stuck at any point in time, just doesn't turn on or something like that, we can always get our stuff back with our backup. And to do that, we would have to restore the whole iPad, which deletes everything from within it. Anyways, at this point, let's just wait for it to download and then we can click on install. Make sure to have at least 50% of your battery. Even if you have more than 50% of your battery, I still recommend to hook it up to some electricity just in case. So after a bit, your iPad will actually install the update by itself and you will see this an Apple logo in the loading bar. It's gonna go quite slow. And then we're gonna see that logo in the loading bar again. This time it's gonna be a little bit faster. At this time you might be 10 to 15 minutes into the actual update. And this will be actually the very last time we see an Apple logo plus the loading bar. It's just gonna restart the iPad and we are done with the update. So right now you just restart it. We're gonna see this, just put in your passcode if you have one. And we are all done with the update just to make sure everything's good. You can go to settings, we can go general and software update. And just check that everything's there. So right now it's up to date. iPad OS 14.3 is the latest one. That would be it for this video. If you guys have any questions, comments, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.